Welcome my friends, Evan Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode. Today is part two of my diesel heater install. I had a delay waiting for a part. Let's roll the intro and let me explain and get into it. This video is sponsored by Renowned Cargo Trailers. My Amazon part has finally arrived, so hopefully I have the correct part. I'm gonna open up my package here and then splice in the new part to the wiring that exists underneath and hopefully i get the wires on the correct uh, direction so anyway that's the next step and a couple of steps away from being able to test my diesel heater all right i have the new switch uh, wired in or the new plug wired in and i decided to use these little uh, clips here so that I could switch this if the polarity is backwards. I think I have it correct, but I don't know for sure. So I figured that uh, this would be an easy way to switch it back and forth. And if I ever need to replace this, it makes it a little bit easier too. I'm going to put some electrical tape on these bare wires, but I've got shrink wrap around the edges. Okay, the new clip is wired in, hopefully in the correct direction. The next step is to put some fuel in my tank and then to prime the pump. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, I get everything right. Purchased a little tiny uh, gallon jug here, maybe two gallons, so that I'm able to get some fuel when I'm in town and fill the tank here. This is the fishing boat tank that I put, 12 gallon, out here in my aluminum box that is on the tongue of the trailer. Okay, it's time to prime the pump to get the fuel from the fuel tank outside all the way up through the pump and to the heater, and then I can try a first burn. Let's uh, see how this goes. All right, so I have to push both of these. It's off, then press this. Now it's priming. I heard a click down here. Here's the heater. I can hear the pump going. It's still doing on thing. I'm assuming it's priming the pump. Oh, something's happening. Before I went outside, the fan is coming on down here. The heater is going. It's sucking air in here. And I have cold air coming out here. Okay, I went ahead and turned that off. It was blowing for oh, two or three minutes, something like that. I think it's got to be primed, so I'm going to try to do a normal startup now. Okay, I just pressed the power button here, doing my first test burn. Let's see if it starts. have a little bit of a fan noise here. Normally, it's so uh, probably 30 seconds before you start hearing the click, click, click of the pump underneath. Should start hearing that any time now. I don't see the little pump icon, which is normally what you see at this point, is the pump going. So it's like the pump is not working for some reason. Pump was working earlier, so don't know what's going on here. All right, I may need to troubleshoot this. Gonna put down the camera, try to figure out what's going on. Well, I have an error 04 here, and the pump icon is flashing things spinning maybe it just doesn't have enough fuel yet maybe the pump is not quite yet primed I don't know okay the unit is off now so gonna go down and see if it didn't prime and maybe try another priming routine see what's going on and then I may have to do some troubleshooting online and before you write comments below I just realized that maybe the polarity of that pump outside is backwards so that might also be an issue although I did hear it thumping so it's running I just don't know if it's pumping the correct direction I don't know if you reverse the polarity if it just doesn't work or if it pumps the wrong direction well good news and bad news I went underneath and looked there's zero fuel in the fuel line so I think it might have been pumping the wrong direction I don't know um, I reversed the wires, going to test it again. On that test, the pump never even came on. I didn't hear any of the, the normal pumping click, like thump, thump, thump noise that it makes. Uh, fan ran, uh, so I think that maybe the wires were correct the first time. Maybe I didn't let it run long enough. So I'm going to go climb under again, reverse the wires. Sort of glad I put those uh, spade plugs underneath there. Well, after reversing the wires back, still nothing. Um, I don't know at this point. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot, do some calls, 
do some research online. Um, as far as I know, everything is hooked up correctly. The pump was working on the first attempt. Uh, just apparently didn't get any fuel through. So, no idea what's going on. Um, I'm going to take a break here, get some lunch, and uh, try it again later. It's afternoon, the same day, and I've discovered two things. i figured out what's going on. Uh, first, the first wiring that I had was correct when I heard the pump clicking, and so the second one was incorrect. The second thing I learned is those little spade connectors are not very reliable and that I had some sort of short or break in there in the wiring. I clipped those out and replaced them with really high quality shrink uh, like tubing type uh, butt connectors and everything is working perfect now with the fuel pump as far as pumping. I can see the air bubbles traveling in the right direction but it's going to take a couple of primings to get the thing going. I'm going to go outside and show you what's going on with the fuel uh, moving through there and the bubbles. Probably need one more prime in order to get it ready to start. Now you can see the fuel pump uh, and the fuel bubbles going quite uh, aggressively. Uh, fuel filter is about half full here and it's probably about ready to go be my guess you can see some of the air bubbles going here into the pump and you can really see air bubbles up there going up into the heater up here you can see a bunch of air bubbles as well so i'll probably prime it a couple more times just to try to get all those air bubbles gone and get solid fuel going up through here but this thing seems to be working great now Okay, moment of truth. I think I've got all the fuel air bubbles out and fuel all primed. Everything's ready to go. Let's see if this thing works. All right, trying to remember which one of these buttons I pushed to turn it on. I think it's just the power button here. All right, it says on. And everything sounds normal starting up. Display looks good. Just hear the fan going down there. Let's see if the thing ignites that red glowy thing there in the center. That is the glow plug in the chamber. And as soon as the fuel starts going in there, it should ignite and start giving me hot air. Everything's still looking good. That is a great noise. I can hear the fan start going. Sounds a little bit like a pulse jet. Sort of a deep rumble. Well, maybe this one over here is the fuel pump. I think it's working. Let's see if we've got some hot air. No hot air yet. I think it ramps up normally in speed, like the fans will start blowing faster and faster and faster. Your temperature seems to be getting a little bit warmer. This is my output, by the way. This is the air input over here on this side. And then it just comes around. I'm going to use a T-splitter eventually in the back here and split it and go left and right of the refrigerator into the bathroom to the left and the kitchen to the right. It's getting faster. I have warm air. Yes. Well, I would say that is success. I am a little bit surprised. Sometimes when I accomplish things, it just surprises me that I actually did it, me, myself, on my own. I mean, I'm great with things like computers and books and stuff like that and research, but doing anything mechanical or electrical is a challenge for me and I'm always surprised when it goes well. Yeah, this thing is uh, doing great here. It's uh, now moving to almost full speed. Uh, the output vent is very warm. Sticking my foot down next to it. I don't need the heater right now. It's uh, pretty warm out right now. But uh, yeah, this is working great. Gonna let it run for another couple of minutes and then uh, run it on high and then shut it down, but I'm gonna test it out for real in the morning. That's all I have for this episode, just ecstatic that this all worked well. 
and uh, the couple of weeks that it took to get the replacement part and get it installed uh, is well worth it. Thank you so much for watching, savor the moment, and I'll see you in a future episode.